Wörter eines überspitzten jüdischen Intellektualismus ist zu Ende. Und der Durchbruch der deutschen Revolution hat auf dem deutschen Weg wieder die Gatte freigemacht. Das deutsche Volk wehrt sich gegen die totalen Kriegsmaßnahmen der Regierung. Willkommen im deutschen Land, Rana, Polen, Marokkaner, in der Not kommt viel zu machen. Deutsches Bürgertum, lasst in Winterstag, jammere nicht. Verwöhntes Kind, alten Zeppen, bösen Glatzen, stoppe das Maul der jeden Menschen. Und hatten, das sah man gleich heraus. Und wenn sich die Städte im Nebel drehen, wer wird bei der Laterne stehen, wie einst Lili Malen, wie einst Lili Last night before the show, I pounded on the floor really hard. I could hear the snakes. I don't complain, I really am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and the plants are dying. The light's no good in this place. I wish we had a decent place to live. I wish one of your deals would come through. <laughs> Listen to me, wanting a bigger place. Rosen's going to be knocking at that door any minute now. You know that. Wanting his rent. It's three weeks overdue. He always comes in the sun with a slightly due. Because that's what he is. Only interested in work. Just like what everyone says about them. But he can wait. At least I've got the job. You get paid on Thursday if Greta keeps the club open. Business stinks. So what does that mean to come complain about the floor? But the only thing is I don't want to dance with a bad ankle. Or more coffee. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, hmm? tell me. What? You know. No. Oh, come on. I don't know. Hey, listen. Do you think we should ask 
clean of her. She's such a good person. She's got no feeling for music though, which is a bit sad. She's got a perfect line. Lovely lines. Teddy wants to do a dance routine for her in complete silence. Do you think that's a good idea? I think it's when she do it. There's no work. And she's lost the touring job. So she'll be broke, so she can't help us with the rent. Oh, what's he good? It must really be bad. What must? That's why you won't tell me. Tell me what? Don't play games. I'm not playing anything. I hate myself, won't I? Won't I? I'll get some food. Was I really rotten? Eggs! I don't want eggs! Well, we're lucky to have them. I stole them from the club. They don't need eggs. People go there to drink and see a terrific show. Which is a bit sad because the show's hopeless. <laughs> you know, I get so embarrassed dancing there, I have to think of other things like, like grocery lists, which is cheating, because people can tell. They can tell you're not thinking about straw hats and water Ooh, lilies. Stick up it! <sighs> Just tell me what I did. Nothing much. I can't remember anything. When I can't remember, it means it doesn't mean anything. I mean, she had too much to drink, the usual. But how did I get this? What is it? <laughs> Ouch, don't touch it. But I want to see it. Oh, well, look, you don't have to touch. <laughs> well, really, what is it? Well, what does it look like? It's a big black and blue mark. Well, there's another one here. Oh, dear. Well, how did I get them? You fell. How? Somebody pushed you. Who? Some bloke. What bloke? It was one of Nicky's friends. Who's Nicky? He's one of the waiters at the club. Which one? He's redhead. Don't remember him. He's a little fat. Why did Nicky's friend push me? You asked Nicky to come home with us. I did? Yes. But he's fat. Only a little. <laughs> a threesome with a fat person. No, not a threesome. A twelfsome, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All at the same time. So you stood on the table and made a general offer. <laughs> <laughs> then what? Then Nicky Strange pushed you off the table. And? And you fell onto the floor, onto a boy in What was he doing on the floor? I don't know. Was Greta mad? Well, Greta wasn't happy, but it was late. Almost everyone had gone. And you were very drunk. People like you drunk. I'll get some food, shall I? Yeah. Home, that's all. He turned you on. All that leather, all those chains. You called him your own little stormtrooper. You insulted all his friends and they left. They didn't beat you up, I don't know why, but they just <coughs> left. And you brought him home. And we had a threesome. The two of you may have had a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing. You pick these boys up and you think you're doing it for me. Well, you're not. Because I don't like it. You and the other bloke always end up ignoring me anyhow. And besides, Last night, you oh. and your own little stormtrooper started to play rough. And I know pain's terribly chic at the moment, but I don't mind it. Because pain hurts. So I went to sleep. Have some coffee, Walter. Walter? Yes, I'm naming the plants, they're my friends. <laughs> oh dear. There is a bathrobe in the bedroom. do these things. He is gorgeous though, isn't he? Ow! <laughs> I don't remember anything. I don't remember what we did in bed. 
Why don't I ever remember? Because you were drunk and high on coke. Oh, <laughs> that too. Yes, Who's coke. Alice? I don't remember. You arranged to pick up a shipment. A shipment? Yes. Oh, Christ, when? I don't know. Well, I could pay the rent for months. Well, Anna will remember. <sighs> rent. Hey, do you think maybe we can ask him? Who? Him. We don't know him. I slept with him, did not? <gasps> I think. You pick a boy up <laughs> one night and you're going to ask him for the rent. Well, you know how I am. Oh, yes. I can talk people into things. Oh, yes. Well, I can try. It won't work. You think it's your way? Rich. You told me we were rich. <laughs> Wonderful. And Polish. Polish! You had an accent. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Here, the dressing house. It's, it's a bit small. I look stupid. No, no. You look fine. Yeah? Yeah. You too. Not now. Well, later then. Yeah. In the country. The country? Oh, your voice is better. Oh. You don't have an accent. Oh, huh. only when I'm drunk. Last night, was it good? What do you think? I'm asking. Do you have to ask? Hmm? <clears throat> Coffee? <laughs> yes. Thanks. Place. Yes. It's really um small. Yeah. Exactly. I suppose it is really. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you people are strange living like this, you know. I don't meet people like you too much. But you interest me though. <coughs> Your kind. Listen, I'm looking. It doesn't matter who you are. Who I am. I'm on holiday. That's what matters. Yeah. Country would be nice. What's the country? The house. Your uh your country house. My country house? I forgot to tell him we're driving out there this afternoon. Well, how do we get there? Car. Huh. Mine. Right. <coughs> Why don't we stay here? Don't make jokes. You promised me two days in the country. Your name? Yeah? I've forgotten your name. Wolf. Wolf. Listen, but I didn't forget yours. I don't have a car. Yes, you do. You were telling me all about it last night. You pointed it out even. Did I? Yeah. It wasn't mine. Not yours? No. I don't have a house in the country either. Yes, you do. You were telling me all about it. <laughs> no, I was joking. I don't like jokes. You don't want me with you, do you? Is that it? Maybe I'm not uh, not good enough for you? Not rich enough? You know something? My father made watches. <laughs> not so brilliant, is it, Baron? <laughs> Baron! <laughs> that one I didn't know about. <coughs> Baron! <laughs> Rose! Oh, shit. You like to laugh at me, don't you, Baron? Listen, Wolf, darling. You're really very sweet and very pretty. And I like you a lot, but believe me, I'm not a baron. There is no country house, there is no money. I don't have any money. But sometimes I do. Sometimes I sell cocaine, and sometimes I find people to invest in business deals. 
But sometimes, well, I scrounge, see? And I'm good at it. And right now, I mean, I just don't have any money. Maybe next week I'll have some money, but right now Rudy and I can't pay our rent. This rent, right here, this bloody flat, that's all we have. And that man knocking on our door is our landlord. He's going to throw us out onto the streets, Wolf. The streets, filled with filth and lice and vermin and urine. Urine! Unless someone can help us out. Unless someone gives us a hand. You don't believe me. Right, I'll show you. Outside, we have, just like in the flicks, the greedy landlord. Fanfare, please. Ba, 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 ba. <coughs> and here he is, the one and only, Abraham Rosen. <laughs> you. No! It's you. Boston! Wolfgang Grants, we have an order for your arrest. You resisted. Too bad. I must leave you soon. Ah, will you forget me? Was I ever really here? Turn it into something else. You'll see. Jesus Christ, careful. Take some time out. We're opening late tonight. And Victor, I don't want to be disturbed. My heroes. <clears throat> Is it safe? What? To 
go home. You fucking queer. So haven't you got any brains at all? No, it's not safe. I want to go home. You can't go home. You can't go anywhere. But my plants. Oh, God. Forget your plants. You can't go home. You certainly can't stay here and you can't contact friends. So don't try to see Lena. She's a nice girl and you'll get her into a lot of trouble. Understand? You have to leave Berlin. But why? I live here. I work here. No, you don't. You're sacked. Why should we have to leave? What did we do? Don't leave. Stay. Be dead queers. Who cares? I don't. Who was he? Who was who? The boy in leather. Wolfgang Gramps. What does that mean? He was Karl Ernst's boyfriend. Who's Karl Ernst? What sort of world do you live in? Aren't you two ever bothered about what's going on? Greta, right, don't lecture. Who's Karl Ernst? He was von Heldorf's deputy. You've heard of von Heldorf? Yes. Head of the stormtroopers in Berlin? Don't believe it. You've actually heard of someone. Right. Second in command of the SA, immediately under Ernst Rohn. Oh, I know him. He's that big fat queen with all the scars on his face. He's a real big shot friend of Hitler's. He hangs around with loads of pretty boys. He goes to all the clubs. He's been here too, hasn't he, Greta? Shut up. Why? Oh, just shut up. So. So. Hitler had Brahm arrested last night. I don't believe it. He's Hitler's right-hand man. What? He's dead. Just about anyone who's high up in the SA was dead. Your little scene on top of that table last night was not the big event of the evening. It was a bloody night. The city's in a panic. And you should see the soldiers on the streets. The SS. How did you get here in your bathrobes? Bloody lucky, that's all. No, the word is that Rahm and his stormtroopers, von Heldorf, Ernst, your friend, the lot, were planning a coup. Who cares? Except that it's the end of the club. While Ron was around, a queer club was still okay. Anyhow, that's who you had. Wolfgang Grants. I hope he was a good fuck. He was a real dummy too, or didn't you notice? What's the difference? You fucked the Roman legs, that's all. But we can explain, it's not as if we knew. Of course! Explain it to the SS. You don't explain. Not anymore. You know, you queers aren't too popular now, anyhow. There's only rum keeping you all safe. Now you like the Jews. Unluck, darling, unluck. And what about you? Me? Everyone knows I'm not queer. I've got a wife and kids. Not that that means much nowadays, but still, I'm not queer. As for this, I go where the money is. Money? Right. Money, Greta. What? <coughs> How much? How much what? How much did he give you? Oh, this much. And you told them where Grants was? Told them, darling. I showed them your building. Greta, you did not. Of course I did. You don't play games with the SS. It's just what your big shot friend here would do. He likes money too, only he's not very good at it. I, on the other hand, have quite a... Here, take it. Don't take it. It'll help. Shut up, Rudy. Don't keep... Shut up! It's not enough. It's all they gave me. We need more. So get more. If they find us, it won't help you. Oh? A threat? I'll do you a favour. Here, take some more. How's that? I've made a lot out of your kind. Now I'm giving a little back. Don't take it. Okay. Now, get out. Come on. I'm not leaving Berlin. We have to. We Berlin don't have us. to. Come on. I live here! I paid up for dance classes for the next two weeks. Right. My plants. Come on. Do don't! Do? Why did you bring him home? I don't know. I oh, don't remember. You ruin everything. Right, I all do. Okay, fine. Go back to your dance classes. We'll shoot you in the middle of an arabesque or something. Take off. Then fuck it. Max? Max!
can't manage alone. Stick together. Take his hand, darling. That's right. Where are we going to go? Don't! Don't say anything in front of me. Now get out. Ticket, that's all. I can't take it. Damn, have it back. Sit down. Person. What's it easy getting new papers for you now? I mean, what if the family finds out? I have to be careful. They passed a law, you know. We're not allowed to be fluffs anymore. We're not allowed to kiss or embrace, or even fantasize. <laughs> they can even arrest you if you have fluff thoughts. Uncle Freddy. No, it's not funny. It is. Family takes care of me. But you, throwing it in everyone's face, no wonder they don't want anything to do with you. I mean, why couldn't you have been quiet about it, you know? Settle down, got married. Boys on the side? No one would have known. Here, Max. I can't have it back. Up there. What? Up there. See him? Yes. With a moustache? Yes. Oh, the sweet. I think he's a fluff. <laughs> I really don't know. You've been running for two years now, haven't you? With that, um, a dancer. The family knows all about it. You can't live like that. Here. I need to. Well, I can't get oh, to. Of course you can. Yes. 
I think he's a fluff. Don't be so careful now. All right, what is it? Do you love him? What? The dancer. Huh. Do you? Don't be stupid. What's love? I'm a grown-up now. I just feel responsible. Yeah. Well, fluffs can't afford that <laughs> kind of response. Why are you laughing? Oh, that word, fluffs. Look, do you think it's been a holiday? I've tramped right across this country. We settle in somewhere, and suddenly they're checking papers, and we have to leave rather quickly. Right now, we're living outside of Cologne, in a goddamn forest, in a colony of tents, would you believe? Me, in a tent. Hundreds of very boring unemployed people. Except they're just unemployed, they're not running for me to start with. Wasn't cut out for this, Uncle Freddy. I was brought up to be comfortable like you. Okay, you're right, I've been playing around for too long. The family and I should make up. So how about a deal? Two sets of identity papers and two tickets to Amsterdam. But once I get to Amsterdam, I'll ditch them and they can't be back. Or well, maybe they don't want you back. Huh? It's been, what, ten years? I'm an only son. Remember that marriage father wanted to have <coughs> Her father had but the his children. I just read about her in the paper. She's an eligible widow living in Brussels. Make the arrangements. I'm married. It's a good deal, you know it is. Eventually, when all this blows over, you can get me back to Germany. And if I want to, boy, I'll rent one like you do. Be a discreet, quiet, bluff. Father always wanted. <coughs> Just get us both out of our mind. I'm gonna have to ask your father. Do it then. I'm asking. Can't do things on my own. Not now. Just this. I can't take it. Max. Looking this way. Might be the police. No, no, no. No, he's a fluff. He's got fluff eyes. <laughs> Still, you can't tell. Look, you better leave. Just be normal. Perfectly casual. I'll ask your father. Soon? Yes. Can I, uh, can I telephone you? In the forest. You telephoned me here on Friday. You're looking well, Uncle Freddy. Cheese, Max! Yeah. No. It's good. I want some wine. There is no wine. Where'd you get the cheese from? I'm stealing. I don't steal, I dug a ditch. What? I dug a ditch. They're building a road just outside Cologne. And you can sign on there each morning if you get there on time. They don't check your papers or anything. It's good exercise too, good for the shoulders. I'm getting my shoulders. My feet. God, no more dancing feet. Eat! <coughs> I don't want to eat. You shouldn't have to dig ditches. I want some real food. For Christ's sake, I want some wine. Cheese. Look at all these tents. There's no one to talk to in any of them. 
pattern of clover. Then don't eat it. I'll eat it. I got apples too. I hate apples. Then starve! So, what did you do today while I was ditch digging? Nothing. You must have done something. Nothing. You weren't here when I got back. I went to town. Oh, really? Have fun? Yes. I'm working on something. Really? Yes. A deal. A deal? Wonderful. I may get us new papers and tickets to answer them. You said that in Hamburg. Didn't work out in Hamburg. You said that in Stuttgart. You're going to recite the whole list. Well, why not? I'm tired of your deals. <clears throat> and you're right. The cheese is awful. You don't want it to. You have to eat. Just throw it out. You'd be ill if you don't eat. So? Be ill. No, I don't want to be ill. That's what you want, isn't it? You're waiting for me to go. Oh, oh, so you can leave me behind. You'd love it if I died. Rudy! Well, you would! Cheese makes me thirsty. Why didn't you buy any wine? I don't have any money. You dug the ditch. Yes, I dug the ditch. I earn the money, if you can call it money. You know how much I got today? Enough for cheese and apples. Maybe if we'd spoken to the SS that day, could things be any worse? Maybe not. Oh, don't give me maybe not. You're supposed to say yes, Rudy, much worse. Because if I believe maybe not, then I'll kill myself. But that's what you want, isn't it? You want me to kill myself. Rudy, I just want to get us out of here. These awful tents. There's no air. We're in the air, but there's still no air. I can't breathe. I have to get us across the border. Why don't we just cross it? What do you mean? I was talking to this bloke on the job today and he said it was easy to cross the border. Yeah, it's simple. You just walk straight across. He of course said they shoot you. he knew spots. Spots? Spots where it was safe to cross. I told him to come and talk to you. Here? Yes. I told you we didn't want anyone to know we're here. Or that we're trying to cross the border. How can you be so thick? I am not thick! He could tell the police. So I am thick. But why don't we try it anyway? Because. Why? I'm working on something. On what? I can't. Who? Yeah. With? I can't talk about it before it happens. It, then it won't happen. I'm superstitious. So why did you bring it up in the first place? So you know. No, what? That I'm trying. Oh. This is madness. We are stuck in the middle of a jungle. Forest. Jungle. I'm a dancer, not a I can't dance anymore, I walk my feet away. It's all right for you. You worked on deals in Berlin and now you work on deals in the jungle. Forest. Jungle! I just want to get out of here. I could have to. I met a man in Frankfurt. You were away working on a deal. Damien. He was an old man. No, down his left hand side. He must, he must have had a stroke or something. He'd have taken me with him. He really fancied me, I could tell. He'd have got me out of the country. But I had to think about you. You're right. I am <laughs> thick. Because you'd have jumped at the chance. Just hanging round here waiting for me to die. I think you've even poisoned the cheese. It's your cheese. Choke on it, please. Choke on it. I can't tell you how much I want you to choke on it. Listen, I think I can get us out. Watch, are you good at you? No. Who with? Absolutely not. Why? Oh. Max! Where are you going? I have to get out of here. I can't breathe, I'm going for a walk. Walk? There's no place to walk, just tents and jungle. What? Burning. It's a trick. Oh, you're right, I lied. Get away! Just let me feel. It's the cheese. You've poisoned me. <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> I die in the jungle. Forest. Now what do we talk about? 
Good with cocaine? Mm, yes. I like cocaine. Oh, yes. How would you like? New glasses. What? My eyes have changed. I need a new prescription. I'd like new glasses. In Amsterdam. I'm <laughs> sure. In Amsterdam, cocaine and new glasses. Trust me. <laughs> plants. You'll have wonderful Dutch plants. And Dutch dance classes. Your feet will come back. And you won't have to dig ditches. To give up your new shoulders, though. And you know what? We'll have a Dutch dog. Everybody should have a dog. I don't know why we didn't have one in Berlin. Have one in Amsterdam. Trust me. And now we're going to talk about Let's see. What? I'm sitting round. There's campfires, that's when people sing. Do you think they sing in the head for you? I don't know. Well, they sit round campfires. Oh, I never join them. Don't. Don't. They see us from the other tents, they could throw us out. For touching. You have to be careful. You have to be very careful. Streets of Berlin. I'm a doing. I'm singing. This is the way the Hitler Youth does it, because they're not allowed to touch each other. Don't be so sure. Well, that's not fair. If they can touch him, we can't. Buy me a bar on the cobblestone streets where the boys are pretty. I cannot love for more than one day. But one day is enough in this city. One day is enough. In this city. <laughs> there, that's them. Maximilian Bourbon, Rudolf Hennings, hands high in the air. You're under arrest. Give me your glasses. Why, Frank, intelligentsia. Stand up. Step on your glasses. Step on them. Triangle in good health. Now it's back to Dakar. Pink Triangle? What's that for? Queer. If you're queer, that's what you wear. If you're Jew, it's a yellow star. Politi political red triangle. Criminal green. Pink's the lowest. Ah! Listen to me. Listen to me. If you survive the train, you stand a chance. 
Here's where they break you. You can do nothing for your friend, nothing at all. If you try and help him, they'll kill you. If you try and care for his wounds, they'll kill you. If you see, see what they do to him, hear, hear what they do to him, they'll kill you. If you want to stay alive, he cannot exist. He hasn't, he hasn't a chance, he wore glasses. If you want to stay alive, he cannot exist. It is happening. Do you know this man? No. Your friend? No. Your friend? No. Open your eyes. Hit him. Again. Again. Enough. Your friend. No. Me alone. I've got extra. Some vegetables. Yeah. Fat. Yellow star. What? Jew. Yes. Wouldn't have thought it. I'm sorry about your friend. Who? Your friend. 
It's not very social in these barracks, is it? That's all right. All right. You've got a yellow star. Yes. How'd you get that? I signed a petition. And? That was it. What kind of petition? For Magnus Hirschfeld. Oh, I remember him. Berlin. Berlin. He wanted to make, make queers legal, yeah. Yes, I remember. Looked like he would too for a while. It was quite a movement. Then the Nazis came. Well, I was a nurse. They said a queer couldn't be a nurse. Suppose I had to touch a patient's penis, God forbid. They said rather than be a nurse, I should be a prisoner. A more suitable occupation. Well, that's why I got my pink triangle. How did you get your yellow star? I'm Jewish. You're not Jewish. You're queer. I didn't want one. Didn't want what? A pink triangle. Didn't want one? No. You told me it was the hurt. In here it is. So I didn't want one. So? So I worked a deal. A deal? Yes. With the Gestapo? Yes. You're full of shit. I'm going to work a lot of deals. They can't keep us here forever. Sooner or later they'll release us. I'm on the end of protective custody. That's what they told me. I'm going to stay alive. Mm. I don't doubt it. Sure. I'm good at it. Sure. Thanks for the vegetables. To sleep. We get up at four in the morning. I'm on stone detail. I chop stones up, it's fun. Excuse me. Don't go. I'm tired. I don't have anyone to talk to. Talk to your rabbi. I'm not Jewish. Why are you wearing that? It has to be a Jew and a queer in this place. Oh, I think it's relative. You told me it was the lowest. It is. Only because the other prisoners hate us so much. Other than a queer, no one's treated worse than a Jew. I got me to my suit, good for you. I'm gonna stay alive. Yeah, you do that. Don't go. Look, friendships last about 12 hours in this place. We had ours on the train. Why don't you go and bother someone else? Didn't think I'd make it, did you? Off the train. I wasn't sure. I'm gonna stay alive. Yeah. Because of you. You told me that. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. What for? I don't know your... your friend. He wasn't my friend. You should be wearing a pink triangle. I worked a deal. You don't make deals here. I do. I made a deal. Yeah. They said if I... I could... They said... What? Did what? Uh, made, made what? Uh, 
Who to? Who was she? They said. save my life. No. <laughs> 